Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video and in this one I'm going to be explaining the settings that you need to set for multiplayer specifically for our group flight. It's going to be our first group flight in our Discord channel. I'll go into more details in that in the video but I'm going to be talking about the settings that you need to set up in Flight Simulator and also some settings that you need to set up in this case in Discord. Discord. So let's get on with the video. So the group flight, our first group flights, will take place on Saturday, the 20th of March at 4 pm. GMT so it's 4 p.m. UK time so wherever you are in the world factor that in in your timing come and join us I'll link the uh, link for our discord channel down below in the description you are most welcome to join discord come and join us on our first group flights it's gonna be a very international affair We've got people from different parts of the USA, people in the UK, England, Scotland, uh, people from Germany, from other parts of the world, wherever you are in the world. The good thing about Flight Simulator is that we can all connect together and come on our group flights with us. It's going to be very exciting. Now, with those details out of the way, I'm actually flying over the course at the moment that we will be flying. I'm slightly off course here, so I'll have to get back on our magenta line. But this is the course we'll be flying. We'll be flying over part of Scotland, past Balmoral, Balmoral Castle, rather. So the Queen's residence, which should be good fun. So let's go into the settings in Flight Simulator that you have to set up to enable multiplayer. Okay, so on the Flight Simulator main menu, to enable multiplayer, you've got to go to Options. So just click on Options at the top there, go to General, left click on that. And in general, in data, so go down these tabs here to your left and left click on data. You want online functionality turned on. So if it's off, probably most of you have that on anyway. And the other thing you want here is multiplayer turned on. Probably a lot of you may have that turned off, but you need to have it on if you want to play it, if you want to come on our multiplayer flight. So online functionality and multiplayer turned on. Let's go back. Go back to the main uh, window now. And go to world map. Left click on that. Now I've actually got the course loaded in partly there. Never mind, I'll come to that in a moment. The other thing you want to do is go to flight conditions on the world map. So make sure you're on the world map. Flight conditions. And where it's got multiplayer, I have it clicked on all players and that seems to work best for me. I would recommend just clicking on all players here. Ensure that's enabled so you can see other players and they're visible to you. The other thing to do now is to actually show you how to load in the flight plan in flight simulator so let's do that next okay for this next step you have to get to the discord channel i've got the web uh, discord browser open in this case doesn't matter for this uh, video uh, but i have the desktop version as well i will put a link down below for the desktop version that's quite important if you want to join voice chat and we'll come to that in a moment but for the flight plan I've got different channels on the left here. Go to future group flying events or fly events here. Just left click on it to choose it. At the top here, you've got a pin uh, icon. Just left click on that and it shows what I've pinned in this channel. The top one here is our flight plan. That's the important one for this flight. So you want to left click on the flight plan and it should, hopefully, 
know what's going on there. It should down... Ah, there you go. It should download it like that. And that's gone straight into my downloads folder. I've actually got it downloaded already. But I've just re-downloaded it there. If you haven't downloaded it, once again, ensure you're in this channel, Future Group Fly Events. Click on the pin icon and just left click on the flight plan to download it. To hide that, by the way, just click the pin again. So let's go back to the simulator. I'm in the world map view. And I want to load that flight plan. So I just go down the bottom here, where it's got load save, left click that. And you can save flight plans and goodness knows what. Just click load here to continue. I'm going to browse to where I downloaded that flight plan, which is in my downloads. And it's this one here that I've just downloaded. Left click, left click on it to choose it and click open. And there you go, that's the flight plan we'll be taking. We'll be taking off from EGIN. We'll actually not be doing the whole route. We'll be flying to Fort Augustus Airstrip, which is about an hour's flight, uh, and it's long enough for our first flight. So we'll be doing part of this flight plan, but it is a beautiful flight. Okay, so that's how you load your flight plan in. I'm now going to bring Aces Down 1 in, and he's going to explain how you can connect on Discord to the voice server. Uh, how you can actually enable voice in Discord so we can chat to each other during the flight. Okay, and now I'm going to do a quick video on uh, setting up the voice channels. Um, the public ones we have are live chat if you want to and group flight comms. Now, we're going to use group flight comms for our group flight. And we can all sign into there. Um, all you do to sign into it is just left click on the group flight comms name. And then there, shows voice connected. And then here, I don't worry about this, it's noise suppression, but we're not going to need that, I don't think. If We, we should be okay. Um, this little here is your disconnect, so basically click that to hang up from the call, and it'll take you out of the group flight comms. Um, don't worry about video or screen, that's if you wanted to share it in the voice channel, but none of us are going to do that, we'll be flying. Um, this is a microphone to mute, there's your headphone to deafen things, and um, then you have your user settings. So I'm going to hang up from this for a moment. Oh, hey, the call went great, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so to help set this up, if you have a microphone or headset or earbuds with a microphone or something like that, and you want to join the, the voice channel here, we want to go into our settings first and we're going to come down to voice and video and in voice and video we want to be sure that our input device is whatever your microphone is uh, for instance i have a microphone on my on a usb camera um, my default which probably is just system but i also have microphone real tech high definition audio that is basically my earbuds that are plugged into my computer so that's the microphone i'm going to make sure is selected for me um, yours will obviously be different. And then the output device, again, it could be the speakers on my desk, but I don't really want to do that because that'll get into my microphone. Um, I have speakers on my, um, my, I'm sorry, it's the speakers on my monitor I don't want to do because that's in the room. But the speakers on the same real direct high definition audio as the microphone's on, again, that's my earbuds, so I'm going to make sure I select that. So now it's going to take the voice from my, my earbuds and sound back into my earbuds. Um, you can adjust your input and output volumes if you want. You can test your mic by clicking this and it'll... They, they, well, now there's now an there's echo, echo, but you get the idea. idea. Um, and you can adjust your levels there. And under input mode, default is going to be under voice activity. This is what you'll see to start with. Um, and to enable push to talk, you just click this toggle button here. Um, now, mind you, if you're using the web version, there might be uh, a warning that says the push to talk will only work if your web tab is uh, got the focus and is visible, and like in front, which won't be the case in Flight Simulator. I would suggest, if you're going to use push to talk, that we that you have the desktop version of Discord. It works wonderfully. Um, 
And then underneath that, we have shortcut. And if you highlight over that, you'll have an, a, a button to edit keybind, or there may be one to, you know, right away if you don't have a keybind. But you basically just click that, it turns red, and it's now waiting to record one of your key presses. You could use a flight stick, a button on your flight stick, um, a button on your throttle quadrant, or a button on your keyboard. And I have the alpha yoke, which has a trigger button on the left side of the yoke, which I use that. So I'll change it for a second, and then I'll say, let's do it to uh, this one. Oop, it didn't start. Okay. Now, yeah, gamepad three. That was actually my autopilot cut off. But now I'm going to put it back to where I want it. Just hit edit keybind, and then press the button I want, release it, and there we are. Keypad zero. Now I have a push to talk, and that works wonderfully in uh, Discord. So that's how you set that up um, and be able to enable push to talk. So many thanks to Aces Down One there. I will link his channel down below. He is intending to release more videos, so I'm going to link that as a bookmark for you. Go and subscribe to his channel. He's a fascinating guy and knows lots of different facts about real life aircraft and flight simulator as well. So there you go. Do come and join us on our first group flight in Discord. Give the video a like as always if it's been useful to you. Subscribe for more. Lots of these kind of flight simulator videos on the way. And I'll see you soon.